In this video, we will delve into the intricate anatomy of the olfactory nerve, exploring its unique structure and vital role in the human sensory system. We'll begin with an introduction to the olfactory nerve, setting the stage for a comprehensive exploration of one of the most intriguing aspects of human anatomy. Following this, we will dive into the olfactory nerve pathway, tracing the journey from the olfactory receptor cells in the nasal cavity to the olfactory cortex in the brain. We'll also discuss its anatomical relations, highlighting the nerve's proximity to key structures. Moving on, we'll examine the nerve's terminal branches. A special focus will be given to the functions of the olfactory nerve, not just in olfaction but also in its significant contribution to the sense of taste and overall flavor perception. Additionally, we'll discuss the clinical implications of olfactory nerve function. Finally, we will wrap up with key takeaways, summarizing the essential points of our discussion. The olfactory nerve, or cranial nerve 1, plays a crucial role in the sensory system, particularly in the sense of smell. Being the first among the 12 cranial nerves, it is uniquely composed only of sensory fibers. These fibers are responsible for transmitting olfactory information from the nasal cavity directly to the brain, facilitating our ability to detect and distinguish different odors. This nerve, like others in the cranial series, is paired, meaning there are two olfactory nerves, one for each side of the nasal cavity. Impairments in the olfactory nerve can have significant impacts on an individual's quality of life. Factors such as trauma, infections, exposure to harmful substances, and certain neurological disorders can damage or disrupt the function of this nerve. The most common manifestation of such damage is anosmia, a condition characterized by a reduced or complete loss of the sense of smell. This can greatly affect the enjoyment of food and drink, the detection of environmental hazards like smoke or gas leaks, and can also be a symptom of broader health issues. The importance of the olfactory nerve extends beyond mere smell perception, as it is integral to our interaction with our surroundings and overall well-being. The anatomical pathway of the olfactory nerve is a sophisticated and finely tuned system that enables the sense of smell. This pathway begins at the olfactory receptor cells, which are specialized neurons located within the nasal epithelium. These cells detect airborne chemicals and convert these stimuli into electrical signals. Each receptor cell has hair-like projections, called cilia, which increase its surface area and sensitivity to odors. From the receptor cells, the signal travels along the olfactory nerves. These nerves are actually bundles of axons from the olfactory receptor cells that pierce through the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone to enter the skull. This unique arrangement allows for the direct transmission of olfactory information to the brain, bypassing the thalamus, which is unusual for sensory pathways. Upon entering the skull, these axons converge to form the olfactory bulb, a structure located at the base of the brain, just above the nasal cavity. The olfactory bulb serves as a processing center where the incoming signals are sorted and interpreted. It's here that the primary processing of olfactory information occurs, and where the olfactory nerve synapse with the dendrites of mitral and tufted cells. These cells then send their axons into the olfactory tract, which lies beneath the frontal lobe of the brain. The olfactory tract carries the processed signals posteriorly towards the brain. Finally, the pathway culminates in the olfactory striae, which are divided into medial, intermediate, and lateral striae. These striae project to various regions of the brain, including the olfactory cortex, the entorhinal cortex, and the amygdala. This extensive network allows for the integration of olfactory information with other sensory inputs and contributes to the formation of memories and emotional responses to smells. The olfactory nerve pathway commences with the olfactory receptor cells, which are integral to the process of olfaction. These cells, found within the olfactory epithelium in the nasal cavity's roof, unique in their structure and function. As bipolar neurons, they possess two distinct types of extensions, dendrites and axons, each playing a crucial role in smell perception. The dendritic extensions of these receptor cells extend into the nasal cavity. They are covered with cilia, fine, hair-like structures that significantly increase the surface area exposed to inhaled substances. This anatomical feature is essential for efficiently detecting a wide range of odor and molecules present in the air. The cilia are embedded in a mucus layer, which serves to capture and dissolve these molecules, facilitating their interaction with the receptors on the cilia. This interaction initiates the process of olfactory transduction, where chemical stimuli are converted into electrical signals. 
On the other end of the olfactory receptor cells are the axons. These axons project into the olfactory bulb, which is a critical relay station in the olfactory pathway. As the axons leave the cell body, they converge with axons from other receptor cells, forming bundles known as olfactory nerve fibers. These bundles collectively pass through the cribriform plate, a sieve-like structure in the ethmoid bone, to reach the olfactory bulb. This convergence and organization of nerve fibers are not only critical for transmitting the electrical signals to the brain, but also contribute to the sorting and initial processing of olfactory information. The olfactory nerves play a pivotal role in the transmission of sensory information from the nasal cavity to the brain. These nerves originate from the cell bodies of bipolar olfactory neurons located in the olfactory epithelium. The olfactory nerves are composed of numerous axons, bundled together to form approximately 20 distinct nerves on each side of the nasal cavity. These bundles are unique as they are enveloped by the dura mater, a thick membrane that also protects the brain. These nerve fibers are sent to the brain by passing through small openings, or foramina, in the cribriform plate, a part of the ethmoid bone. The cribriform plate acts as a barrier as well as a gateway, allowing the olfactory nerves to safely traverse from the relatively exposed nasal cavity into the cranial cavity where the brain resides. This transition is crucial as it marks the point where peripheral olfactory sensing begins to interface with central nervous system processing. The olfactory bulb is a pivotal structure in the olfactory pathway, consisting of paired, ovoid structures that are relatively small in size, about 8 mm in length and 4 mm in width, yet they play a significant functional role. Functionally, the olfactory bulbs serve as the primary processing centers for olfactory information. Axons from the olfactory receptor cells, transmitted through the olfactory nerves, converge and terminate in these bulbs. Located at the base of the brain, just above the nasal cavity, each olfactory bulb is strategically positioned lateral to the crystagoly and above the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone within the cranial cavity. This placement beneath the medial aspect of the frontal lobe is particularly advantageous for processing olfactory information due to its proximity to both the source of olfactory signals, the nasal cavity, and the brain regions involved in interpreting these signals. Within the olfactory bulb lies a complex network of nerve fibers, notably the glomeruli, which are spherical structures where the primary synapse between the olfactory nerve fibers and second-order neurons, such as mitral and tufted cells, occurs. These cells further process the signals received from the receptor cells. Each glomerulus is designed to receive input from olfactory receptor cells responsive to specific odorant molecules, enabling the initial sorting and processing of olfactory information based on the chemical characteristics of inhaled substances. This intricate arrangement of cells and nerve fibers within the olfactory bulb underscores its critical role in the delicate process of olfactory perception. Emerging from the olfactory bulb is the olfactory tract, a crucial component in the pathway that transmits the processed olfactory information to the brain. It is formed by the axons of the mitral cells and extends as a narrow band from the posterior end of the olfactory bulb. The tract then proceeds posteriorly, running along the underside of the medial frontal lobe within a sulcus known as the olfactory groove. This positioning is critical as it provides a direct pathway for the olfactory signals to reach the areas of the brain responsible for further processing and integration of these signals. The olfactory tract's role is not just to carry signals to the brain, but also to ensure that these signals are directed to the appropriate brain regions, including the primary olfactory cortex. This targeted delivery is essential for the accurate perception and interpretation of smells, contributing to the complex and nuanced human experience of olfaction. The final segment of the olfactory nerve pathway involves the olfactory striae, which are critical for the distribution and processing of olfactory information within the brain. The olfactory tract, upon reaching the brain, bifurcates into two primary pathways, the medial and lateral olfactory striae. This bifurcation occurs at a region known as the olfactory trigon, a triangular area that marks the division of the olfactory tract into its two main components. Each stria serves a distinct and crucial role in the processing and relay of olfactory signals. Lateral olfactory stria, this pathway carries axons directly to the primary olfactory cortex. The primary olfactory cortex is located within the uncus, a part of the temporal lobe of the brain. It is here that the bulk of olfactory processing occurs. The lateral olfactory striae play a vital role in transporting sensory information to this cortex, 
where the detailed analysis and interpretation of different odors take place. In contrast, the medial olfactory stria serves a different function. It carries axons across the medial plane, specifically through the anterior commissure, a bundle of nerve fibers that connects the two cerebral hemispheres. This crossing of axons allows for the sharing and integration of olfactory information between the two hemispheres. Such bilateral communication ensures a more comprehensive and unified olfactory perception, as it allows each side of the brain to access olfactory information detected by both the left and right olfactory bulbs. The primary olfactory cortex, the main site where olfactory signals are processed and interpreted, plays a pivotal role in the olfactory nerve pathway. It not only decodes the sensory input received from the nasal cavity but also integrates this information with inputs from other sensory systems and brain regions involved in memory and emotion. This integration is crucial for the full appreciation of smells and their associated experiences and memories. In summary, the olfactory striae, comprising the lateral and medial pathways, together with the primary olfactory cortex, form an intricate network that underpins our sense of smell. The intracranial portion of the olfactory nerve is characterized by its intricate anatomical relations with several key structures within the cranial cavity. These relationships are vital for understanding both the function and the potential vulnerabilities of the olfactory nerve. Superiorly, the olfactory nerve is positioned beneath the inferior surface of the frontal lobe of the brain. This proximity to the frontal lobe is significant as it allows for the direct and efficient relay of olfactory information to higher cerebral centers for processing. This positioning, however, also makes the olfactory nerve susceptible to damage in cases of frontal lobe trauma or pathology. Below the olfactory nerve lie several important structures. These include the optic nerve, the anterior cerebral artery, and the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. The cribriform plate, in particular, is critical as it provides the passageway for the olfactory nerve fibers to travel from the nasal cavity to the brain. The proximity to the optic nerve and the anterior cerebral artery also underscores the need for careful consideration during surgical procedures in this area to avoid compromising vision or blood supply to the brain. Medially, the olfactory nerve is adjacent to the cristagoli, a bony process of the ethmoid bone. This relation is crucial for the anchoring and stabilization of the olfactory nerve within the cranial cavity. The cristagoli provides a point of reference for neurosurgeons and radiologists when assessing the olfactory nerve's position and integrity in diagnostic imaging or surgical procedures. On the lateral side, the olfactory nerve is in close relation to the internal nasal nerve and the ethmoidal arteries. In summary, the intracranial portion of the olfactory nerve is situated in a complex environment, surrounded by critical neural and vascular structures. Its anatomical relations with the frontal lobe, optic nerve, anterior cerebral artery, cristagoli, internal nasal nerve, and ethmoidal arteries demonstrate the delicate balance and interdependence of the various components within the cranial cavity. The terminal branches of the olfactory nerves, crucial for the sense of smell, conclude their journey in the nasal mucosa, specifically in a limited area at the roof of the nasal cavity. This region is the primary site for olfactory transduction, where odorants are detected and converted into neural signals. The lateral olfactory nerves are an integral component of this system. They are distributed along the superior nasal concha, also known as the superior turbinate. This area is strategically positioned to maximize exposure to inhaled air, thus enhancing the detection of odor and molecules. The number of these lateral branches can vary, typically ranging from 12 to 20. This variability ensures a wide coverage and sensitivity to a broad spectrum of smells. The superior turbinate, with its increased surface area and mucosal lining, provides an optimal environment for the olfactory receptors to function, making it a vital area for the perception of a wide array of olfactory stimuli. In contrast, the medial olfactory nerves descend along the nasal septum. The septum, being the central dividing structure in the nasal cavity, is a crucial location for these nerves. Here, they are ideally positioned to detect odorants from the air passing through both nasal passages. The number of these medial branches typically ranges from 12 to 16. The division of the olfactory nerve into lateral and medial branches reflects the necessity for a broad and evenly distributed sensory network within the nasal cavity. This anatomical arrangement ensures that the olfactory system can efficiently detect and process a diverse range of odorants. 
Now, concerning the olfactory nerve's primary function, the perception of smell, it is intricately tied to the olfactory mucosa, a specialized tissue within the nasal cavity. This thin, delicate mucosa is the functional bedrock of the olfactory system, housing millions of olfactory receptor cells that are key to odor detection. Each olfactory receptor cell in the mucosa is equipped with specific odor receptors. These receptors are incredibly diverse, allowing the human olfactory system to detect and differentiate a vast array of smells. When odorant molecules bind to these receptors, they trigger a cascade of biochemical reactions, ultimately converting these chemical signals into electrical signals. These electrical signals are then transmitted by the olfactory nerve to the brain, where they are processed and perceived as distinct smells. Beyond its primary role in olfaction, the olfactory nerve also significantly contributes to the sense of taste, particularly in the perception of flavors. Flavor is a complex sensory experience that combines taste, detected by the taste buds on the tongue, and smell, perceived via the olfactory nerve. This connection is evident when one experiences a diminished sense of taste during a nasal congestion. The olfactory nerve's input is essential in distinguishing the nuances of different flavors, as much of what we perceive as taste is actually derived from our sense of smell. For instance, the subtle differences between similar tasting foods are often discerned through the aromas they release, which are picked up by the olfactory receptor cells. In summary, the olfactory nerve, through the olfactory mucosa and its receptor cells, plays a vital role in our ability to perceive and enjoy the world of scents and flavors. This nerve's function extends beyond simple odor detection, influencing our experience of food and beverages, and thereby significantly contributing to our quality of life and survival. The process of olfaction, or smelling, begins with hair-like cilia that line the nasal cavity. This lining is called the olfactory epithelium. As air enters the nasal cavity, some chemicals in the air bind to and activate nervous system receptors on the cilia. This stimulus sends a signal to the first-order neurons connected to the epithelial cells. The signal is carried by these neurons from the nasal cavity through openings in the ethmoid bone and then to the olfactory bulbs of the brain. The signals then move from the olfactory bulbs along the olfactory nerves, cranial nerve 1, to the olfactory area of the cerebral cortex.